message has been stay above it all. Stay above everything. Stay above the drama. Stay above the situations in your life. And I'm at the river. And so I get to watch this awesome uh, sunset. It's so pretty. The, The river is, to me, it's always pretty. But at sunset, it's so gorgeous. It, it, the best sunsets right here. Okay, the beach has gorgeous sunset, sunsets too, so I'm torn. But since I live right across the street and I was just doing a video over here, I thought, wow, this is so gorgeous. I have been feeling so good, really good. A lot of people that don't understand energy, that just lash out at you, that just tend to be reactionary and nasty, I probably feel worse for them than I do for me being on the receiving side because they actually have to live in that, live like that every day. Like who wants to do that? And um, be miserable and rude and cranky and yucky. And so my message has been stay above it all. Stay above everything. Stay above the drama, stay above the situations in your life, the good ones and the lousy ones, just stay above everything and look at it as if the universe is in a fishbowl. You're looking in at it instead of being in it. That way you aren't getting caught up in all the weird energy and the negativity that's out there or just all the energy that's shifting all over the place. You don't want to be part of that. It just makes it uncomfortable. So if you can be above it all and still make your decisions from that place, have your conversations from that place and um, how you view things at a larger scale, like from a higher perspective, then you are going to win. You're going to make the best decisions. You're going to do the things that work for you. You're going to be the one that feels good because you're not getting stuck in other people's emotional uproars and dramas and all of that stuff, you, you just stay above it. And it's so much easier when people are acting all funky and weird when you're not in it. It's like you can just kind of look at them and, I mean, you don't want to smile at them and then they get mad. But it kind of is like you are because you're like, I can't even be in that. <laughs> like, I'm not feeling that. Like, I, I understand how you're feeling, but I can't be in that because I'm not there I can't be in that energy. So good thing to do with people who come and they start complaining or something and they might want to engage in some argument or they might just be having a bad day. Instead of trying to fix it for them, you listen and you say, so how can I support you right now? What can I do to help you? And believe me, try it because you'll see people just stop. They'll think, I don't know. I wonder how you can help me. I didn't think about that. I was just sitting here ranting or whatever they were doing. You know, whether they're mad at you or not, you just be really calm and say, how can I help you? And uh, it changes everything, changes everything. And that is staying above it all. That is not being in that energy, not engaging and taking on that energy. And believe me, the energy is so shifty right now that Sometimes it's hard to just be in it. You could feel like all of a sudden you feel nauseous or you feel anxiety and you don't know why. And you feel tired and just, you know, people just being rude and you just don't want to go. You just don't want to be in it. So see it all in a fishbowl. Stay above it all and respond from that place too. Don't react. Just stop. Listen. Hold the space, take a minute before you respond, just be quiet for a second in between what they said and what you're going to say. Just take a a moment just to have a break in the conversation and then how can I help you? And then they're going to open to you. They'll open to you, they'll feel more relaxed with you. They'll feel more trusting. And from wherever place they're coming from, whether it's being negative towards you or just sharing a problem with you, they're going to stop and they're going to pause and they're going to open their heart. And then you can really help them because then they're listening to and you're listening and you're both engaging. And it's like just a totally different communication. 
So that's what you do. Okay, did the sun go down? Sun went down. Look at that pretty sky. Fish are jumping. Cindy is swinging. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Pretty, pretty beautiful. I'll see you later. Have a great night. Stay above it all. Just stay above it all. All right. Peace. Talk to you guys later. Bye.